I grew up on the ice and hopefully I will, uh, I will be on the ice till the bitter end. Um, this is who I am, uh, the French Voyager hockey player from Northern Minnesota slash major ice fisherman. Love it. And uh, just a humble, a humbled man doing what he loves to do. start every morning, or most of them. It's been a little bit nicer yeah. today. Not 40 below this morning. All tricks of the trades. When you uh, beat your vehicles up all the time, you got some little tricks that you gotta do to start them up. This is what we had to do. Hopefully, come on baby, come on. Come on baby. Oh, there we go! Ready to roll. And this piece of equipment is uh, probably one of the most important, especially on a year like this with three feet of snow out there. Um, it's been it's been uh, very important to be able to move the snow and not create big high banks because with the big high banks, we're getting a lot of water out on the lake, and then you got flooding, and then you have to move your houses. So this piece of equipment has given me the opportunity to move that snow without making big banks and allows me to fish in the spot that I've been fishing for a couple weeks now. So very important piece of equipment right here. Next thing I'm typically doing is grabbing, I'm charging batteries 24 seven. So people ask me, you're not as tall as you once were. Well, that's because I'm carrying deep cycle batteries every day. You know, from a very young age, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to take people fishing for a living. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I didn't know where I was gonna do it, but I knew that this is the lifestyle that I wanted to live. And uh, how, how was I gonna do it? I, I had no idea. I found myself walking the, the concrete jungle of Detroit, Michigan in 2008. Uh, looking at all of the all of the lakes that were around Detroit, Michigan, and and going, I wonder if there's walleyes in that lake. I wonder if there's walleyes in this lake. Um, and that really gave me the gave me the gumption to move back home to northern Minnesota, where I was born and raised, and uh, to to take people fishing for a living. The thing that I had lost uh, on my journey was uh, the the love of fishing. So at 34 years old, and I'm not gonna name my age right now, but uh, 13 years ago, I moved back to Northern Minnesota to pursue a guiding career and a, and a job on the lake. Um, I had worked in big corporate business for uh, almost eight years after playing hockey, and, and I realized that I just didn't love the inside of an office building, but uh, I felt peace outside in uh, in the wilderness, we'll say, and especially on the ice. Uh, let me see if I've got one. Let me see if I've got one here. Maybe, maybe in my mess, in my mess. I've got one, Z. Can you bring it with you and I'll down to the point? Yep, I'll, uh, I'll bring it out there. Got it. Good to go. Got it for you. Um, yeah, kinda. What you got? Okay. No. Yep. Yep. Uh, no, I don't have an extra generator. They're all out being used right now. Perfect. All right, I'll track you down here in about an hour or so. Okay, I've got it with me. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to you later. Yep. Oh, oh, there we go. Special delivery. <laughs> Special delivery. Thank you. You're welcome. That's Appreciate how it works. It. Thank you, honey. We'll see you later. Oh, yeah. There's the family. All right. 
Now, one of the greatest parts about living where we get to live is we live right out by the lake and um, when I meet these people, uh, I don't have a long way to travel. You'll see I gotta get up here and take a right and it's right at the log cabin bait and tackle where I meet everybody. Um, you know, I started meeting people on the lake, but it's just much easier when things change out there to meet somebody at a specific point um, and then bring everybody to the houses so they exactly know where the houses are. I try not to leave people with a map and get out there. So it's more personable, but yet you don't have that stress of driving out and trying to find a house on the lake because it's, it's kind of crazy sometimes. But uh, no, it's just fun getting able to do this for a living. Hard work some days, other days it's gravy. But uh, there's some hard, hard days in here and today we've got a beautiful day. A little bit of wind, but not much. We can see that sunshine. Um, this year with so much snow that we've had, it has gotten to the point where on the overcast days, you really just can't see anything out there and uh, you find yourself driving into snow banks and getting stuck and when, you, when you're by yourself, you have to learn to shovel yourself out. So that's typically what I've learned to do. My wife, she calls it the winter workout program. Go out, get stuck a couple times, shovel yourself out, get home and you'll go to bed. This is kind of what it's all about. Making, making the gravy look good. 2012 uh, March of 2012 I decided I love to fish more than anything and I wanted to take people fishing and let them experience that exact same thing that I love to do so in 2012 I uh, with the with the permission of my wife we started the Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman uh, Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman which is now almost 10 years into the making um, you know, and it has allowed me to take people summer fishing, but also winter fishing through the fish houses. Uh, the fish houses that you see, we built them right in my front yard in, in August, September, and October of 2012. Uh, so they're my babies, and every time that I look at those, look at those suckers, I, I think about the hard work and labor that went into making those. And now we're in our ninth season, going on to our tenth season on the lake and to have the amount of people that uh, continually come back and visit us each and every winter is, is the true blessing of being able to do this. 80, 90 plus fish in three nights, two days. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I love to put people on fish, but I love to see smiles on people's face regardless if it's a fish or it's the conditions, um, whether it's just coming up and, and saying hi or seeing us. Uh, you know, fishing, uh, there's lots of smiles that come around the fishing industry, and that's one reason why I love to be a part of it. All right, well, let's get to fishing, gang. All right, here we go. I worked for a gentleman back in Michigan, and uh, their business had been, their business had been, uh, was started in 1903. So when I started working with them, their, their business was 100 years old. They hadn't borrowed money from the bank since the 40s. They were very financially secure. A company called the Boomer Company out of Detroit, Michigan, right downtown Detroit, construction material supply business. But uh, Bob Boomer would come in once a, once a month to look at the books. And Bob was 80 years old, and I would watch Bob uh, bend over and pick up a wrapper that 20 people would walk by. And one day I stopped Bob and asked him why why he uh, why he felt like he had to pick up the garbage and he said because if I don't do it nobody else will and that was something that really stuck with me uh, the owner of that business when that owner will take the extra steps to make his environment nice and neat um, you know you you really take you really take count of that and and why is he doing this well he took pride in his business and when we keep this clean we take pride in our business and so that's why i try to try to uh get involved with the adopt the highways and um you know we didn't have much money as kids growing up but uh, we lived in international falls and i think 10 feet on one side was a house and 15 feet on the other side was a house and um 
my mom and dad just made sure that we kept everything nice and neat and clean. Um, so it was kind of inbred in my inbred in me and then watching Bob Boomer pick up, bend over, 80 year old man pick up and bend over this stuff, it just it instilled in my head um, something and uh, I have used that so try to keep a nice clean work environment. Constantly moving snow. Now what I typically do, before I even get to a house, I drive around it a couple times and uh, people ask me all the time, why do you do that? For one, I let people know that I'm here and that I'm not somebody else, but the next thing is we call it a bomber bite. And every once in a while on Lake of the Woods, when you can rip around a house, you'd be very surprised on how many times you come into that house and then all of a sudden they catch a fish. The bomber bite. Pretty good, respectable little meal there. You know, we've got a couple guys in the houses, but this is how I have everybody when, uh, cause it's, you cannot fillet fish on the lake unless you're in immediate preparation of a meal. And the way that that states, i.e., for all you lawyers out there and legalese, um, i.e. oil hot in pan before you can even touch knife to that fish, okay? So I go through that with my guys cause they're out here in the sleepers and a lot of people like to eat fish just like this. But when they're done with those carcasses, instead of putting them in a bag and letting them freeze, so when the DNR officers come and check them, I have everybody do this. Lay them right out so they can identify the fish, they can measure the fish, and tell that everything's there. And then when I get there in the morning, I clean it up and then they can start over from scratch. Lots of little saugers. Lots of little saugers. They look like yummy, yummy food, and that's why people come out here, get a little, get a little shore lunch on the ice. More batteries. Seriously, everybody asks me why I've shrunk. I mean, you carry around deep cycle batteries all day. It can't be good for you. at it. They're sleepy this morning. Alright, now one other thing that I always do. Just to check the propane tanks and make sure the propane tanks are okay. So, for example, I always have two 100 pounders out here and an extra. One 100 pounder should last anywhere from five to six days. Um, and that's in zero weather. Once you get down 30, 40 below, it's about three days. So I always have a couple extra out here. I am over, over prepared for cold weather, but that's the way you have to be out here when you have lives on, your, on the line. So Hefty loves the Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman. Well, we have the opportunity to visit all of our guests on a daily basis. And I try to get out there twice a day um, to visit the guests and make sure that they're doing okay. But, uh, you know, seeing the smiles on their faces after they catch fish, um, that really puts a smile on my face and lets me know that, that uh, what we're doing up here is working. Um, we have a tremendous fishery. Uh, with Lake of the Woods, and I say that Lake of the Woods makes a lot of great fishermen, and it does, but uh, we work very hard out there to make sure that our clientele um, not only are catching a couple fish, but also um, 
know what the I bite wasn't is doing. Paying attention, doing. that's when they come. You know it. That's how it happens right there. That's okay, darling. He's got oh, the chaos is yep. starting. Got my that's line. good. Take that short lunch sandwich snacker. Right eat? there. Pow. Bomber bite. Oh, that was all yeah. The bomber bite. You know it. The bomber bite. Gave him the bomber bite. It happens. I can't I can't explain it. Well, I was telling the boys that you were corralling the fish. You know it. Give him a little bomber bite there. Bomber bite. Clean it up a little bit here. Bite. One more bomber bite for you guys. And then we'll go on to the next one here. Okay. Wow. Another little thank you right there. A little. Wow. Whoop, 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 whoop. Roadster with love. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I love it. You. That's amazing. Yeah. Another bomber bike coming up here. Another bomber bike. To be able to be out there every day and to see what's working and it was not what's not working, and to then share that with your guests, who you who you've uh, put a lot of time and effort into them getting into those spots uh, to see the smiles on their faces and uh, the laughs amongst the families and friends. That's what it's truly all about. The other fun part about ice fishing, propane. About uh, eight years ago, I was introduced to the Clam Outdoors uh, crew, and this crew has brought my ice fishing ability to the next level. And I know I'm supposed to talk about myself, but we also have to talk about the people that get you there. And the people at Clam Outdoors have uh, opened up, opened up their uh, Rolodexes, and opened up their knowledge for this small town, northern Minnesota kid to uh, learn from and, and uh, they've given me the opportunity to go out there and, and be a part of videos and be a part of Ice Team University and be a part of writing articles for magazines, um, which I never thought this D English student would ever be able to do. Um, but it's, it's, the, it's the passion for fishing that I have um, when you're talking about things that you don't know about, it's tough to talk about them, you struggle. But with fishing, for me, it's and not that I'm the greatest fisherman in the world, but I love it and I have a passion for it. And hopefully you can, you can hear that in my oh. voice. Ooh, not bad. More gravy, more gravy. I grew up on the ice and hopefully I will, uh, I will be on the ice till the bitter end. Um, this is who I am, uh, the French Voyager hockey player from northern Minnesota slash major ice fisherman. Love it. Thank you to everybody that's given me the opportunity to do this um, because it truly is because of you that we get this opportunity. So I want to say thank you. And uh, I'm just a, humble, a humbled man doing what he loves to do. We hope that you guys enjoy everything that you see and the, the time that you spend with us and our friends up on Lake of the Woods or with any of the clam team out there. Uh, you guys are doing yourselves a favor by, by teaming up with all of the industry leaders. It's uh, pretty awesome. Thank you once again. This is the Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman saying happy fishing and God bless. Now, now we're done.